Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Mai with Simply Bloom. So today we're planting and doing some repairs, getting dirty. So behind me, I don't know if you saw that video, but I repaired this garden bed earlier. I do the no dig, no till method. So I was just kind of reweeding, relaying down some cardboard that I didn't do as thick of a layer as I should, added some mulch, and it's looking quite pretty. There's a couple little spots that could have used a little bit more TLC, but overall pretty good. Well, I want to do a June garden tour, but I feel like I need to fix this side before I can do a tour because I don't know. I want, you know, when you invite people over to the house, you just want things to look its best. It's not the fact that you're trying to make it look like a fake house. I hear people say that oh, you know, your garden's fake if you put all this extra work into it right before a tour. And, nah, nonsense. I just want to put my best foot forward. And it needs to get done anyway. So I'm using the garden tour as motivation to get it done. So I'm going to be, well, let me turn you around. This is what it currently looks like. I have the creeping flocks in there. I planted that actually late last fall after I had already laid down mulch. That's why it's not included. So I'm going to bring the mulch here. And then I have an arbor that I want to put there. That's going to be the entrance of, I normally plant veggies in there. I have a tarp down right now and some plants that I wintered over that 99% did not make it. Um, so that's typically a vegetable garden in there. But since I just had a baby in April, I am cutting way back. I ha normally have veggies in there. I normally have veggies way down there. And then I have a big cut flower garden right behind you guys. But this year, the cut flower garden that's normally just for cut flowers is also my veggies. Like everything's combined in one garden this year. So typically this would look a lot better than it does. So we need to put a gate on. We just put this front fence up. You can see the posts in the back. There's no fence back there. So it's the slow work in progress. But anyways, I'm going to be coming through, planting some things, moving some things around. I want to bump these sedums up because I kind of changed the shape of the flower bed. So I figured if I weed bump the sedums up, that opens up a space there that I can plant. Um, there, I planted a bunch of stuff along in here that did not survive a bunch of dianthus and stuff like that. So there's a big swoop opening that I could plant in. Uh, Jacob's Klein or Jacob's Ladder, it's coming, but it's been like that for the last month and a half and it's just not growing. So we'll see, but I think think I'm going to transplant that closer to the edge of the border because if I remember correctly they get well they're only like 12 inches high yeah 12 inches high so I might we'll see but I might try to move that closer to the edge of the border look now I'm getting distracted pulling weeds okay so yeah there's just a lot of things that need to get moved and fixed and planting and all that stuff. I want to see how far I can get. I stopped here, but the bed actually continues all the way up to this hydrangea standard. There's my pile of cardboard that I'm going to be using. There's a bunch of rocks in here that I want to do another rock garden because I don't want to move them anywhere. So I figured if I just pile them up, it'll be good. Here's the Heliopsis that I just planted here. And I actually kind of want to move it down here next to the other Heliopsis. You can see the dark leaves right there, but we'll see if I do that today or not. <laughs> it's a problem when I put stuff in the ground without thinking of it. I normally regret it. Okay. I'm just going to jump in. We'll see how far we get. Again, I'm not hundred percent sure what plants I'm going to put here, but We'll, we'll figure it out as I go.
Okay, you guys, I am done planting. We have a storm heading our way. And you know how people with arthritis, they can feel a storm coming in their joints? My hair, my hair feels a storm coming. Look at this. The curls that I get from humidity right before a storm, it's insane. So I don't think I have time to mulch today, but let me show you the plants. This, I am so excited. I, it looks so good. Okay, I was gonna try to get these five in the ground, but I just don't think I have time right now. So I'll run out uh, maybe during nap time or something later today. So maybe I can get this done when I take the kids outside to play in a little bit. So I was kind of trying to weed as I went. Um, I'm still gonna lay down cardboard and mulch again just for that extra weed barrier. And then I feel like after that time, then, then I don't think I'll have to add any more cardboard. It's just gonna be like, a little bit of weeding maintenance. Let me grab the tags. I have all the tags right here so I can give you the stats. So this delphinium here, I love. I don't know, it's hard to tell with all the blooms right now, but it has that kind of ferny foliage. Now this delphinium, what's special about this one is that it stays more short. It gets wider than it does tall. So this is the diamond blue. And it gets 16 to 24 inches tall and 30 to 35 inch spacing. So I think that will just fill in this area right now. I don't know if they will be in bloom at the same time. I just bought this, so the timing's a little bit off, but all my other delphiniums are budding up right now. So I'm thinking that we'll get a little bit of blue with the lemon meringue baptisia there. So I think that will be really pretty. And then right here, these are snowdrops. Here's the tag, they are perennials and I don't think they're super common. Like I feel like you don't see these many places, but those get 18 to 24 inches tall and space about 18 inches apart, zone four through eight. So I planted two there. And then I have two Cranesbill or hardy geraniums. Those are the midnight ghosts. They get pretty little white flowers. They say they only get six to eight inches tall but that's over 12 inches right now so i was really kind of struggling with where to put them <laughs> because they're already taller than what they say and being out of the pot i'm not sure how much taller so i figured i'd do like one step in and then put a border plant in front of it and 12 to 16 inch spacing back there oh gosh that looks so messy maybe i'll throw a bag of mulch there real fast because i just can't handle that mess it there was a high spot and then it dipped low. So I ripped everything out and I kind of tried to even it out and shovel the high spot down to the low. And then I just threw the cardboard on top and it looks like a disaster right now, a complete disaster. So maybe I'll have time to fix that before the kiddos fully, fully wake up. But I added two lupins and there wasn't a variety name but it starts out with this really pale yellow. And then as the blooms age, they turn to that kind of bright, happy, sunshine yellow. And I think that will fill in the space wonderfully. They said, I think, what was it? Like they got up to 30 inches tall, 30 inches wide, I believe the tag said. And then here I have two Shasta daisies. Normally Shasta daisies, I feel like they're on average like zone five. So I was super excited when my husband brought these home and they're zone three through nine, but that is the white lion Shasta daisy. They get eight to 10 inches tall and spacing 12 inches. That is just like the happiest little thing I've ever seen. And then right here, these two are actually Nepeda. When I first saw these, I thought they were Salvia. Uh, my husband's not a huge fan of Nepeta. He knows how much I love it. And I don't know, it's so special when you know someone knows that you love something. And even if they don't necessarily like it, they get it for you anyways. But I think he's gonna like this one a lot more because it seems more tight, more compact. But that is the Neptune large flowered catmint. Um, 10 to 14 inches tall, eight to 12 inch spacing, zones four through 10. And then last thing I planted was this bearded, not bearded, yeah, bearded iris. This is the Neptune's Wine Bearded Iris. And then I have it in front of a David Austin Rose. This is the Lady of Shalott. I was the most excited for this rose when I placed my order and it's 
done like the worst out of all five roses last year barely grew this year it's what is that four inches tall and all my other roses are either blooming or have buds on them and this is just chilling <laughs> chilling at four inches tall so i think i'm gonna give it this summer and honestly if it doesn't snap out of it <sighs> then it's going bye-bye it is it's going bye-bye um and then i transplanted the jacob's ladder here because they were where that hardy geranium is and then i do have another one i don't this got hit so hard during winter i don't actually see i uh, it it probably would pull through but i don't want to wait for something that may or may not pull through i don't know that looks like a little bit of new growth down there but my husband bought me another one of these to replace as well what is it it's the oh this is a different variety than the one that i have there but this is the false cypress king's gold Ooh, this one gets quite a bit bigger 36 to 48 inches tall six foot spacing i think the one i planted was only four foot spacing but i think that's okay because i have i have space oh and i planted this this right here is the storm cloud amsonia 24 to 30 inch is tall 38 to 42 inch spacing so i think even if i pop that new one in i think it will still work out but those get amazing blue flowers i have two already and i have this one and one more to plant still and i was so impressed with how long the blooms lasted for some reason when i think of spring blooming plants i feel like they'll only supposed to last a week to two weeks maybe max this bloomed and bloomed and bloomed i'm not even sure entirely how long it bloomed but it was over a month long so get your hands on one of these did i say what the zones are zones four through nine So much better there's still kind of a low spot over here so um I didn't quite cover it all the way with mulch and cardboard because I want to add some more dirt but so much better so much better okay you guys that is it thank you so much for watching I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next time bye
I also planted this storm cloud Amsonia. It gets 24 to 30 inches tall, uh, 38 to 42 inches wide, and zones four through nine. 